Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get a better performance in PUBG Season 36 dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end of this video because it covers all of the best window settings as well as the best game settings to improve your FPS. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, step number one is the best window settings. And for that, simply search for settings on your PC. And once you're over here, come down to personalization and then come down to colors. And right over here, disable transparency effects. This will disable windows and surfaces appear translucent and it will make them more opaque. After that, head over to gaming and then game bar and turn this thing off. Since it is an overlay service, keeping it running in the background will consume a lot of CPU and RAM resources on your PC. I would highly recommend you guys to disable that. Then come back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on since it will help you to optimize your PC by disabling unwanted and unnecessary services in the background as well as disable unwanted notification pop-ups while you're playing your games. Then click on the graphics button right under that and then enable optimizations for Windows games and under the advanced graphics settings, enable hardware executed GPU scheduling. Both of them will help you to utilize your graphic card primarily to render the game as well as reduce your input latency. After that, click on the add desktop button and then go to the download location of your PUBG game. If you're unaware of it, simply right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. After that, copy this file location, paste it right over here and then come down to TSL game, binaries, Win64 and then you'll find tslgame.exe. Simply click on add over here and once that is added, scroll a bit down until you find it. Select it and then for the GPU preference from let windows decide set this thing to high performance and then optimizations for windowed games should be turned on. This will utilize your primary graphic card instead of your integrated graphic card. Once that is done simply close your settings. Next step is compatibility settings and for that come back to the download location of your game. So for that manage and then click on browse local files then TSL game binaries win64 and you'll find tslgame.exe. Right click on your game head over to its properties and then compatibility. Over here enable disable full screen optimizations and then click on change high dpi settings and then select this option. Click on ok and then apply to ensure that you get the least amount of input latency. Next step is deanimating windows and it is super essential. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and right over here click on adjust for best performance then enable save task bar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts this will disable all kind of unnecessary animations on your pc and keep the essential ones intact once you're done with that click on the apply button and that should be it next step is local group policy editor this is only available for windows pro users so if you're a windows pro user simply search for group policy and then select edit group policy over here then head over to computer configuration administrator templates windows components and then app privacy and right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background double click to open this policy up and ensure that this is set to enabled this will enable this policy and for the policy property select default for all applications and set this thing to force deny click on apply and then ok and this will ensure that all of the background applications are now disabled this will really help you to reduce the number of processes running in the background after that simply close it next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and once it opens up look for a local disk c and then click on the create button name it pubg so you can remember it and press enter i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your game settings back to normal without any kind of data loss once that is done simply click on close and close system properties the next step is pubg season 36 fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below and in here you'll find in five very useful folders the first one is cpu priority in which i have left amd cpu priority as well as intel cpu priority both of them will help you to optimize the performance of your cpu depending on which cpu you have on your pc I have an Intel CPU so I need to double click and apply this registry. Could be different for you so you can also apply the AMD CPU priority. It helps you to optimize the D word value of your processor's registry and help you to increase the performance. Next is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to double click and apply this registry for my PC. Could be different for you so you can apply it. And then if it doesn't work out well, you can always reset it back to default right over here. Third one is the most important one over here which is PUBG priority in which I have left these three priorities and to apply that you need to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left all of these unwanted registry files that are running in the background of your PC and this will help you disable them. If you guys use any Bluetooth services or any printer services, 
leave these two and apply every single one of them over here and it will help you to significantly reduce the number of applications running in the background. After that, if you want to reset anything back to normal, head over to the revert registries folder and re-enable them back again right away. Last one is the useful programs in which I have left these three very useful programs to improve the performance of your PC drastically. The first one is clean temporary files .bat, which helps you to clean the prefetch and local temporary files on your PC. Right click and on it as administrator. Once it opens up, press enter and this will delete all temporary files on your PC and it is completely safe to do that and I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then. Press enter once again and the next one is MSI mode utility 3.0. Right click and on it as administrator. This software helps you to interfere the number of interrupts your graphic card can handle. And over here you have to find your graphic card, click on the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority select high. Then click on the apply button and it will prioritize interrupts on your graphic card which will help you to optimize the performance of your GPU which will help you to reduce input latency and frame generation speed. That is nothing but render latency. Once that is done, simply close it. Next is unpack CPU which will help you to optimize the performance of your processor. Right click in on it as administrator. Windows by default has this tendency to park the cores that means put them to sleep mode if they are not in use. And to fix that you have to set your system power plan to ultimate performance if that is available for you and if not you guys can also go with high performance. And then for the core parking index slide it all the way up to 100% then click on apply. Once that is done simply close it. And now you guys can also close your FPS pack. Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications. And for that, simply press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together to open up your task manager. Once you guys are over here, head over to the fourth tab which says startup apps over here. In which you have to disable as many applications as you can that you do not use right after the boot of your PC. These applications need to open every time you boot your PC and it increases the time that your PC takes to boot up and then it constantly runs these services in the background even if you're not using them. That means that it is consuming your CPU's resources. To fix that you have to right click on any of this application and then click on the disable button that shows up over here. And I would highly recommend you guys to know which application you're disabling over here because some of these applications such as VAN such as VGTray is really important if you're playing Valorant because this runs as a kernel anti-cheat. Disabling that will prevent your game to even load up. Know what you're disabling over here and you'll be good to go. This will reduce your last BIOS time and also reduce the number of processes running in the background that helps you to perform better in terms of FPS. Next step is the best config settings and for that press Windows and R key together and then head over to App Data. Over here go down to Local and then press T on your keyboard and look for TSL Game. Double click to open it up and then head over to saved, then config and then windows no editor. Right over here you'll find something called game user settings.ini. I would recommend you guys to right click on that and then simply copy it and then paste it over here. This copy file will help you to act as a backup just in case you want to revert all of your settings back to normal. Then right click on your game user settings.ini and then click on the edit in notepad button. Once you're over here. Your graphics API should be set to DX12 because this is one of the most optimal API that is available right now. If you guys have a better graphic card that is in RTX or GTX series, DX12 will perform better in all kind of scenarios. But in case if it gives you any issues, come back and change it to 11. Now the most important part is the scalability groups over here. For the resolution quality, I would recommend you guys to go with 90 or 100, both of them works absolutely absolutely fine. For the view distance quality, go with 3. Anti-aliasing quality, I have gone with 4 over here because it is actually dirt cheap. For the shadow quality, I have gone with 3 but you guys can absolutely set it to 0. For the post processing quality, set this into 0. Texture quality, go with 2. Effects quality, go with 1. And foliage quality, go with 0 right over here. Then you have to look for B, use in-game smooth frame rate, set this into false because it will induce input latency. Come down and you'll find B NVIDIA DLSS. You guys can set this thing to true over here because it will help you to use DLSS in the game. For the motion blur, set this thing to false. And once you're done with that, simply press Ctrl and S key together to save this file and simply close this thing. Next is the best in game settings and for that, open up your game. All right, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head down to settings. Right over here, for the NVIDIA highlight, if this option is available for you, disable this thing. 
because it consumes a lot of your GPU resources. After that for the display settings, make sure that your display mode is set to full screen or borderless. Both of them works absolutely fine. Remove any kind of lobby or in-game FPS. Cap and smoothened frame rate should be set to disabled. Then head over to the advanced tab and over here for the render scale, go down to 90. It works just fine, helps you get a clear gameplay as well as higher fps but if you guys have a qualified pc a good enough pc you guys can go with 100 or even higher than that for the fpb camera fov you guys can go with 103 and overall graphics quality i have left it to custom and here are my settings for the anti-aliasing you guys can go with high post processing go all the way to very low shadows go with very low Textures, you guys can keep it medium or high. Effects, keep it low. Foliage, keep it low. View distance, go with high. Sharpen, you guys can enable or disable it according to your personal preference. V-Sync should be disabled and motion blur should be disabled. For the DirectX version, I have gone with DirectX 12. But if you guys are facing any kind of issues, try DirectX 11 Enhanced or DX11. Both of them works just fine. Once you're done applying all of these settings, press on the apply button and then go back and now you guys can enjoy your game with the highest FPS available. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I really appreciate your support and we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.